Thanks for staying with us. Today is World Wildlife Day and the focus is on marine wildlife this year. This year's theme is a life below water for people and planet. To discuss this, I'm joined from our Cape Town studio now by the Department of Environmental Affairs, Dr. Alan Boyd. Dr. Boyd, thank you so much for joining us uh, this Sunday. Um, this is the first World Wildlife Day to focus on life below water. Why has it been so imperative to that, for that to be the theme of, of the awareness uh, uh, brought about by this day? this year. Thank you, Marcia. I, um, I think a lot of us are aware of our wildlife terrestrially, the big five and all that, and the importance of conserving, despite all the odds, these animals. But the animals in the ocean are also under a number of threats. And this goes both for the big charismatic animals like the whales and sharks, as well as that, those animals that we rely on for food, the fish stocks and that. So this is an opportunity to both um, draw the public's attention and to hopefully uh, convey a whole lot of new information which people might not be aware of and might not appreciate. Um, you know, another world day of these you know, United Nations World Days is World Wetlands Day, which was on the 2nd of February. And in that case, you know, people might just generally treat a wetland as a tatty piece of land that's a bit degraded, mm. not realizing its full importance. And the same would apply to life in the ocean. From the large charismatic animals down to the smaller components, we need to value it. Uh, do you believe that there is enough of an understanding that um, uh, taking care of our marine life actually has a direct impact on our lives here on, on solid ground, as it were? Uh, I think there's always room for, for improved understanding. There's a lot of information out there. Uh, you know, if one only has to look at the nature programs, and they are very excellent programs that are... Uh, put on a number of uh, TV and other media. So there's a lot of information out there for the people to look. But this is actually to, just to try and get a, the message broader mm. that uh, the life in the ocean is very important. It supports uh, economic activities in tourism, ecotourism, the same way as it does on the land. But also the top predators of the ocean are symptomatic of the overall health of the oceans. So they might actually be highlighting something that we can't see as clearly, the problems with pollution, uh, the problems with ecosystems not being as productive as they should be. Mm. Now, you speak of these television shows and the information that is out there. I'm a huge fan of the work being done by people like uh, uh, Dr. David Attenborough, um, as it were. But I also know that um, it's only a privileged few that really have access to those kinds of TV shows, uh, sadly. Um, uh, and the stories that they, they tell is more on a global scale. Um, I believe that locally, South Africa is in the process of gazetting a network of 20 new marine protected areas. Uh, tell us why that's important more locally for us here in South Africa? Yes, it is very important uh, that we get these um, new marine protected areas so that we can get uh, uh, what we call a representative protection of all our habitats and all the species that live in them from the east coast all the way around to the west coast because at the moment we don't have any protected areas north of Saldana Bay. So the whole west coast, that whole Namaqua area, has no protected areas. So it's, it's, it is very important. But it also, uh, you, you, you know, you said um, local versus the global picture. These two actually merge. So I would disagree to some extent that the message is a global message. We need to take it on board locally. And we also do have very good local programs like the 50-50 program. Um, in the news uh, quite recently was the discovery of natural resources in the form of gas off the coast um, of Mossel Bay, I believe it was. And obviously a lot of question marks there would be around the impact that it would have on the marine life in that very, very important part um, of our, our uh, uh, conservation area in South Africa. Um, are you wary of those kinds of discoveries or, or do you feel safe that uh, government and those bodies that have put 
put there to ensure um, that marine life is taken care of in the face of huge economic gains that could potentially be made is actually being taken care of? Okay, this is a, a, a challenge in the real sense of the word because it can be done, it can be done properly. Uh, if you see the accidents that happen like in uh, the Gulf of Mexico, it showed the accidents actually happened because people were taking shortcuts. And I believe that this sort of uh, development of making natural gas, which we could certainly use for our economy, and also natural gas is much less polluting than coal if we were to use it for power generation. So I think it's a very important, valuable thing to the economy, but we need to be really aware that we don't take any shortcuts in its proper uh, exploitation and that, that it's properly monitored with the best environmental standards. So I think it's a very exciting and, and positive development, but we need to keep, keep it fully on track. Yeah. We'll leave it there for now. Today is World Wildlife Day and there we have uh, some insight into why this day is important from Dr. Alan Boyd, who's the Director of Biodiversity and Coastal Research at the Department of Environmental Affairs. Live